Hey guys, what is up today? This is Dal Sue back with you after work. Just got back into uh, Banished, and I think we had uh, a couple days off between the last time I played. So I am going to uh, just take a minute and kind of ease myself back into it. I remember I had um, I tried to upgrade these houses a little bit more. But uh, everything was kind of like settling down a little bit. I remember I had such a huge problem with stone and then I had some other problems, but I've kind of like sorted them out. And so there's maybe not quite as much action going on right at the moment. It's pretty much just building up and then hopefully um, reaching our goal sooner. And we have 34 labor, uh, 30 builders and 64 laborers, so we have a pretty pretty big pool to draw from. What are these guys doing? What the hell? That is not how you use a wheelbarrow, friend. Not at all. Okay, so we've got a small market here, which engulfs all these houses, and I'm thinking probably some more houses right here. What do you guys think? Plenty of uh, building materials now that we've got our stone, stone situation rather sorted out. So it's pretty much just a matter of building up to our point and then like keeping keeping an eye on things like food and clothing and all that kind of stuff. All this is going to be farms, by the way. Uh, I don't know exactly what has happened, but um, our situation with food has improved quite a bit. Excuse me, I had to close something. I had a little pop-up. Our situation with food has improved quite a lot. I guess it's because of all these fields being mature and everything. But uh, we haven't been at 80,000 in a while, so feeling pretty good about that. Uh, I guess we speed up here for a little bit. Let some of these houses get started working. Perhaps these two mansions will be built or upgraded. I can't really remember. Oh yeah, okay, so I had forgotten. There is a problem with these houses actually because for whatever reason, they can't be built. They see how it's a negative four? Because this one is like overlapping onto them for some reason, which is kind of weird. But um, whatever, we'll just remove them. We'll replace them with... Can I, can I actually do... No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just do these. They seem to work without any issues, so. We're only gonna be able to fit two in there because it's kind of an awkward position, but that's fine. We're not really like pressed for space. It's just gonna look a little bit weird, but no big deal. Alright, let a little time elapse, keeping an eye on the food of course as we continue to grow. We're gonna want to be a little bit careful, you know, about how we grow and how we how we manage our food situation. And it will, I mean, we're fine to add uh, a few more farms here, but at 80,000 food, you know, I'm not seeing it as like a, a huge deal right at the moment. Just having some deaths. Keelhauled. Keelhauled for mutiny. What does it mean to be keelhauled? Uh, that's a question for Wikipedia right there. With pictures, of course, hopefully. I'm sure it's very graphic. Hmm. Anyway, he was keelhauled. Mutiny just means you didn't do what the captain told you to do, right? That doesn't seem like a keelhaul worthy offense, but whatever. Who am I? Never been on the high seas myself. I don't know. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what that entails. So I, I can't, I can't make you know, intelligent commentary about that. I'd like to get our number of children up to like two hundred that we know a huge wave of uh, laborers is coming rather soon. We're getting our materials delivered rather quickly, but 30 builders just never seems to be enough. Perhaps we should increase the number a bit. Still at 80,000 food. And it looks like our tools and our clothing and our firewood are, are all good. We're not having the problems we had been having before. A lot of the problems were, were based on stone even, but... 
I'll let this tick away just a bit. And then we'll probably slow it back down and just kind of take our little survey that we that we always take. Get rid of all these trees here. Make room for stuff. Also, the forest is encroaching over here. We had been trying to like get rid of some of our flax, I forgot. I think we may have had a trader here and I just kind of ignored him. But we want to sell flax because the flax is not really helping us out. Peter t tells me that I'm not doing this right. Um, apparently the thing on the right is the thing that you provide and the thing on the left is the thing that they provide. Uh, there's nothing I, s I really want that much. So, probably just another useless building for us right now at least. May use it sometime in the future. Uh, another thing I wanted to look at is not this. It never runs out of coal, ever. Does it? Huh. Okay, we got this one upgraded, and we wanted to see about upgrading this one, right? So, 72 out of 120, that's not bad. We're gonna have to upgrade this one too at some point, or else we will run out of iron. Could do another iron mine at some point. Um, so it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on over here that needs our attention, really. Sold never done tobacco, I should probably should probably do a little tobacco at some point. I think it makes people happier. <clears throat> they can smoke, have a, have a smoke at the pub after a long day in the pumpkin patch. All right, how are we doing here? Should we up the, the amount of builders? I don't think so. I think having more laborers is probably preferable. Look, we've got two builders on these, two builders on this, two builders on this. Of course, they don't stay for long, but they are doing the work. So we should be seeing a string of children being born. We'll go ahead and speed it up just for a minute. Let some time elapse. Keep an eye on our food. I feel like we're starting to kind of grow a bit quickly and going to want to keep an eye on that because you know what can happen. I mean, it, it takes a few seasons before it really gets problematic but when it does it's a it's a big problem so I need to keep in mind uh, particularly since I'm gonna need to assign some laborers to farm hmm I don't know it's so nice having like 60 laborers I remember back when I was like having one and two and it was so hard to get anything done you know but we're all better now Alright, seems a bit of time has passed. Let's slow down. I think we'll go ahead and do some farming over here just to, uh, you know, stave off any problems, obviously. This one's not holding on to any flax or anything annoying like that, so it's doing the, the Lord's work, so to speak. Alright, let's go to crops. I think we had some mushrooms we wanted to plant. Um, we're just going to do the smaller ones. I don't know why it's not letting me. Is that red? I can't even tell. Nope, not red. Alright, we're doing smaller ones now because we learned our lesson with that pumpkin patch. Doesn't have to be perfectly 13 by 13 or whatever. Okay, let's get some roads built throughout. All right, what do we want? Um, we haven't bought anything cool in a while. We could do some wheat. Never really did that much with the wheat. Um, field carrots and let's do mushrooms. Some stuff we don't really have, I don't think, too much of. Let's see, we got a merchant. Speaking of that, uh, he's selling the same old shit. Get out of here. Those ducks you've been bringing for the past hundred years. How about you? Ooh. I don't think we have any cucumbers. We can sell our flax. Let's just say we want to sell all the flax. I'm overpaying by 8,000 because I haven't picked anything out yet. Okay, so we want... 
pears. I don't know if we have soybeans or not. I don't know if we have spinach or not, but whatever. We're just trying to get rid of flax. Canola. That's a little too much, huh? Get rid of the spinach. Okay. Sounds good. That was a good change, putting the flax in there. Although, it could work out that I start to actually run low on flax. I'm not careful, which I think we use to make uh, maybe ropes or something like that. Got a lot of rope, though. No, we still have, like, a shit ton of flax that we don't need. So, keep it keep it sold. That's what I say. Free up the space. Alright, how are we doing on these houses? Are they all done? Well, we got two left, and they're almost done. We never did add those extra farmers. Let's go ahead and do that now. They won't be shorthanded. And we'll go ahead and... Why did I do that? I still, I'm still doing it after like episode 75 or whatever. I'm still doing it. That's just a testament to my spaciness right there. That's what that is. All right, so these houses are now <clears throat> officially finished. And we're at 107 children. We should see quite a few more children being born here. A little bit of a death wave right now. And a birth wave and a student wave. Tell you what, I'd like to look at our farmer's college. Yeah, it's nowhere near being full. So that's just the only thing I was a little bit concerned about. We don't have nearly enough students. The next generation. We need them now. Alright, are you guys having babies yet? Let me know about that. Oh, you already have a 13-year-old. This was one of the later ones built, wasn't it? Still no kids? Takes a little time. All right, so you have a zero-year-old child. And we're going to have to give it a little second here. Speed up some. We're at 90 food now. The food just continues to grow. That's great. Always happy to see that. Hundred and ten. Our number of children continues to grow, which is great. Uh, we are down a little bit on our labor pool. That's no big deal. Give me more babies. Make me more babies, please. All right, you made one. A lot of very young children in here. Let's go pause and see what this guy has in store. See if he wants some of our. Flax, do you? Whale blubber? Hmm. I like whale blubber. Smoked fish. Wedding permission. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, what can we order from you? <coughs> Excuse me. Hangik mm. jot. What the hell is that? Sounds almost like a Korean food, but. Um. Uh, do you, don't you have lamp oil that I can order? You must have lamp oil. Oh, it's it's alphabet, alphabetized, isn't it? But it's not there, lamp oil. Okay. All right. Um, give me some of your finest wedding permission, whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say trade it all away. I'm overpaying by... Wait, no, okay. We'll take some bacon, too. You know what? I love bacon. And we'll take some cream. Why not? Stuff we can actually use. That's fine. Kind of a meaningless trade, but whatever. Gets rid of some of the flax. Gives us stuff we can actually use. A little, little t time tick by, and we'll get ready to kind of set up a new housing area, I think. It's probably what we'll do next. Keep an eye on our happiness and health. Let's check our graveyard. Our newest graveyard is already full, of course. Hmm. I'm going to keep an eye on that as well. So where's our next housing area going to be? Hmm. Further down the way, I suppose? Or how do we want to do this?
Let me see here. I don't know, we could probably use a few up here. Are they inside of the housing? That's the only thing. I mean, the, the, the market, rather. Yes, okay, so we have this whole area where we can continue to expand. I like that. Happy with that. Boom. Get those built. 117 kids. So we've already uh, quite dramatically increased the uh, number of up-and-comers, so to speak. And I feel pretty happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and speed this bad boy up for just a second. Seems that we could probably stand another graveyard. I don't want to build one. I'm not too happy about the fact that I need to build another one, but... You know, people die, and they'll be very unhappy if they die and are not remembered. I guess tobacco would also make people happy, but I don't know. I'm not too worried about it as long as it's... I mean, it's been going from full to a half every turn, full to a half. And uh, that's, you know, I'm comfortable with that, I guess. Turn it back down a second. Check out what kind of progress has happened on our houses. Looks like not much, but uh, deliveries have been made. Yeah, deliveries have been made and continue to be made, so no worries there. Hundred and twenty-three kids. All right. Just gotta wait for those kids to grow on up. We're kind of shrinking our labor pool right now, but we have big, high hopes for the future. As long as it takes, we will be here. Just waiting for these damn children. <laughs> We're going to keep building. That's the secret. We're about to cross 100,000 food, though. That's pretty damn exciting. How's our magazine doing? It's 8% full. That's okay. All right. Hmm. Still, still a lot remaining there. Looks like we've got one fully delivered. Somebody to come work on that soon. Hit it with a hammer, you know, all that stuff. And looks like the rest will be delivered shortly as well. Good. So a uh, little bit of a short video today because I got to make moves. I got things to do. But uh, I will see you guys next time on Dallas Who Plays Banished. Thank you for watching. Bye.